Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones, former paparazzi consultant. Now I just speak out against multi-level marketing companies. My main focus is paparazzi accessories because I was personally involved with paparazzi accessories. Ergo, I speak out against them. With this last disclaimer about to pop up, we will get this party started. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. <laughs> Jump scare! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So anyway, hi everybody, Emily Jones here. Um, this is Bling It Up With Crystal. She did a three and a half hour live last night. So I was kind of skipping through it real fast just to see what the hell was going on with this live last night. And, um, this happened. So we're going to watch it and I'm going to react. I know it's boring. Sorry. Can't help it. She's putting stickers on jewelry that someone just commented sold on. So this is her process. And, you know, at least she has a process and she's not paying Anyways. comments sold. Alright, these are rose gold. So, rose gold. I'm going to mute the volume for a second. Or at least turn it down. So she has her number cards. She's, she's showing the jewelry. But... Oh, God. There is no momentum here. They're bomb. Yeah, they're so cute. So, um, they're teardrops with teardrops in rose gold. And when you see them up close on the card, they look flimsy and somewhat cheap. That's my humble opinion on this jewelry. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, okay? This is Bling It Up With Crystal. Now we're gonna turn up the volume. To see how far we go up. So she's now doing her I, I opportunity. I my name in the top five. Like, that would be, but we have to maintain it. That's, that's the thing. Maintaining it is, is going to be the hard part. Yes, maintaining a team is going to be the hard part. Keeping people active, keeping people to recruit other people, that is the hard part of multi-level marketing. So she's saying the hard part out loud, and I love that she has her blingy pen from probably Empower Me Pink this year because they gave those away a few years ago. So she's, uh, according to her little uh, thing on her live, she's Crown Club 10, okay, uh, she's a producer. She's not an executive producer. She's just a producer. We got to make it happen, guys. Like, Tara, right. Like, I love your positivity, Tara, because you know what? Sometimes I'm self-doubting. I'm self-doubting, and I can't self-doubt. We got to be like, we got this. But it's hard to say we got this when, when we don't. <laughs> exactly. All right, Miss Deb. We got to, like... All of the people that have joined so far, they all joined to help. They all joined to help. And we had eight people join yesterday, or yesterday. We had eight people join last month. We had two so far this month. That's ten people that have jumped in when when we needed them. And So she's got ten people that she recruited just to help. Who are they helping does she tell them who they're helping? Thank you for jumping in with both feet. Thank you for helping me build my team. Thank you for helping my income. Those things aren't coming out. She's just going to continue to recruit. That's amazing. The amount of support, like 10 people have, have decided that they wanted to help. And I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Hi, Leona. Hi, hi Gina. Welcome in, ladies. Um, and this is so much more than jewelry, guys. It's is so it? much more than jewelry. It's, it's connections with people. Connections with people? You, you mean you can't connect with people outside of paparazzi? You can't connect with people in other aspects of your life? I mean, that's why people go to church. That's why people get jobs. That's why people have social circles. You don't need paparazzi to connect with people, so I'm debunking that one. You know, like, the friendships that I've made, the bonds with, with complete strangers, like... 
So are these friendships and these bonds transactional or are they genuine? Because I want to know, and I'm asking you, Crystal, because uh, you're another Crystal out there. I want to know how many of the people that stop shopping with you, stop joining your team, stop, 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 stop. How many of those relationships that you've had a bond with have you reached out to after they stop shopping with you or quit being on your team? I'm guessing it, the answer to this is a big zero, a big goose egg, a big niche, nilch, nada, z, uh, nen, nit. I mean, a whole bunch of no's. I doubt you've kept in touch with any of those people who have quit your team or have stopped shopping with you. So it's so much more than that. Let's see what your next thing is. All of that. All of that. Oh. Thank you, Gina, for sharing. Oh my god, the Thank plastic. you so much. Yes, I ask that if you guys did share, please share it out. Um, because we need to get this out to as many people as possible. Oh yeah, she definitely needs to get we to as many people as possible. <laughs> team Diva. Um, there's Dazzling Divas and Dons. There's uh, Diva Bosses, Crystal, Bling It Up With Crystal, Team Diva. I mean, how many Diva Bling name concoctions are out there for paparazzi? Thousands. Become a part of the Di Divine Diva team. Divine Divas. Join my today team. We, I, um, we did a team training today. We've been, we've been busy over here today. This one is beautiful. This has your is pearls, it? gold pearls, um, your white or ivory pearl, and then gold chain, stretchy. It's got your medallion. This actually has a cute little crystal in the front. Um, pair it up with this beautiful layered necklace. I only have one of this necklace, guys. I yeah, she only bought one, which is smart. And she's actually going to sell this set, even though the pearls don't match the the white gem, gemmy, fauceted beads on the necklace. But, you know, at least she sells the set. And, and she's pairing sets, and that's good. But let's see what else she has to say. I only have one. Sold 61B, sold 61N, or sold 61 set. That's got beautiful white faceted. Sold 61 set. She's using Misty-isms there, you guys. And that comes with your complimentary earrings. Ooh, so exciting. Look at those complimentary earrings. Sold 61 set. And now she's going to spend time putting it back in the plastic because, you know, we can't do this later. Say, but, um, and I can't stress that, I cannot stress the just the discount alone and all the free pieces in the starter kit and the double hostess rewards like that is a chance to like if you're gonna if you're all right everybody i'm just gonna stress this again the january promotion you got your starter kit you got a bling bag the february promotion promotion <laughs> you got your starter kit you got a z piece this month, you get a starter kit with six, if you just, I'm just basing off the $99 kit here. You get six hostess reward pieces. Dunk. Okay, you get six hostess reward pieces. And then with every order you place, you get double hostess rewards. Ooh. Ah. And like I said in a very, very early video when I first started doing YouTube to tell about my experience, hostess rewards are crap nobody else bought. And they're just trying to get it out of the warehouse. So this is, this is not a great feature in my humble opinion if I was going to join paparazzi. The opportunity calls we've been seeing this month, the energy isn't great. I'm not excited about this. There is no reason to sign up for this company. Hostess Rewards isn't where it's at. Um, you know, don't be excited about something when you get your starter kit and you see the piles and piles of shit that they throw in there for you to sell. Yeah. I had another gal email me this week and tell me she was so disappointed in the starter kit, she, she called and canceled. She called and canceled. She got her starter kit. She opened the box. She was like, what the fuck? And uh, she was disappointed. 
in what she got. Her six hostess reward pieces, they were brown, they were orange, they were gold, they were brass, and they were copper. None of those things I think she liked. She thought they were ugly, and I'm pretty sure she was mad about that. But she didn't get anything that anyone in her family, let alone herself, would want. The blockbusters, she got in good glazes. And she didn't even get a blockbuster set that matched. She got in good glazes the necklace, and then she got the green bracelet. She got the black necklace and the green bracelet. Why couldn't they send her the black necklace and the black bracelet? No, the starter kit had no rhyme or reason to it. And the reason, and I told her this in an email, the reason they sent you the in good glazes black with the green bracelet is so you go in your back office and buy the black bracelet and the green necklace so you can sell a set. That is the reason why they did that. It's because they want to encourage you to go in and find things that go in your starter kit and make sets and buy more inventory. Yeah. So I'm going to keep watching this boring, boring live. You're going in for a business. That's the chance to get the double hostess rewards and you can use it. You can gift it. You can keep it. Miss Lisa, you did not just do what I think you just did. Oh my goodness. Hold Miss Lisa, I hope you just kit snatched and that's it. I hope you didn't join the team just to help a friend out and then turn around and put yourself into wild amounts of debt. So Lisa, my prayer for you is this. I hope you went in just to kit snatch and that's it. And I hope your kit actually has some viable product in it. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Someone's going to make me cry in a second. I just got an alert. We just got an alert? Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Hold on, my email's taking forever to open. We just got an alert. Miss Lisa! Oh my god, Lisa! Lisa, you're going to make me cry. Fake tears right oh there. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, maybe they're not it's fake. Not a hot flash. <laughs> it's signing up. Thank you, Lisa. I just made fifteen dollars off of you through my business building bonus. Thank you, Lisa. In a month, I'll get the commission off of that. So at least she's thanking her for signing up. I'm signing up a new representative goal. I'm watching for tears right now. That's why we're being That's quiet. a weird email. Hold on. Okay, there's the email. It says a new consultant. It was like, it was getting, I was like, wait, what is this email? So Miss Lisa just joined our team, guys. This number. It's not our crystal. It's your team. Someone just signed up to be on your team. This isn't a group effort. Not everybody is going to benefit from Lisa joining your team. The only person that's going to benefit fully from Lisa joining your team is you. You're her sponsor. You're the one that's going to make all the money off of Lisa's purchases. Unless somebody who is beneath you that you sponsored and Lisa joined under them, that is how that person will benefit from it. They'll get the business building bonus, not you. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, Crystal, it's not our team. It's your team. Or is it, oh my goodness. So, you can be emotional, yes, and that's fine. You can be thankful, Lisa, yes. I was not expecting that. But, at the same time, Lisa, whoever this Lisa is that joined Crystal's team, I hope you're going in to really be honest with yourself, what are you planning to do with paparazzi? Because if you're planning on inventory loading and thinking that you're going to make a living off of this, unless you have all the systems in place and you have the social media following, following like a lot of these upline elites do, that's not going to happen, honey. Okay? Uh, I want you to be honest with yourself. So Crystal is very excited. She has 466 comments on this. Uh, video. She's got some angry people. Debbie, somebody is angry at her. But yeah. Oh my goodness. 
She's very excited about that. Good for her. JJ, Mr. Smokey Eye, who has great makeup. Uh, he had four people start their own jewelry journey by joining Team Class and Sass this week. There's room for you, too. This, this blows my mind. The recruiting efforts that are all over. Oh, look, isn't that beautiful? There's, there's my city. Okay, but the recruiting efforts all over, all over with paparazzi. So I type in paparazzi accessories. Let's see if I can, oh, we're not blocked anymore. Yay. So today we're releasing butterfly earrings and those. Okay, and then uh, what's this about? International Women's Day. We're going to show the stupid scarf. Um, but this grosses me out. Today is International Women's Day. We are honored to have so many empowering and inspiring women as part of our paparazzi family. Culty empowerment inspiring. All right. We are reminded every day that it is not our $5 jewelry that's changing the world, but those who wear it. In the comments below, tag a woman in your life who feel you feel is best embodiment of our mission statement. We'll pick one lucky nominee to win a 2022 Z Collection piece on March 9th. Oh man, this would be hilarious if people went in and started saying, Emily Jones on YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding. And then, of course, they're also pushing, that's a wrap. It's your last chance to add this stunning Deborah to your collection. This necklace is currently taking its final bow. Okay. Um, that's great. So let's see if we can go back to where we were paused off yesterday. Misty was showing this ugly copper piece. So we're going to pick up where we left off before I got blocked. Now this is an amazing stack. So you've just got these square beads, but they go, they're not a sharp edge. They're more of a rounded square, which I think is super important as far as this is where this, the video really cut off well. yesterday. This is so functional. I feel like you could wear this three days a week and be happy about your life. I wear this in silver all the time. You can wear that and be happy about your life? Really? Really? Are you not happy about your life when you're not wearing paparazzi jewelry? If you do, go get a therapist, okay? But I love that the earrings, the big huge hoops that she's wearing keep like getting caught on her sweatshirt and on her shoulder. So, yeah, okay? but even paired with this gunmetal earring that we have this is a fun way to pair them if you want to have just something that's it's a fun beautiful. functional set Obviously, you've got chokers you've got big hoops you've got lots of things that you can pair this with and you can definitely stack this with other items or with itself okay now this is a really fun ring i love oh look it's a flaccid dick stone and i love the detail coming up the side i love stone it's the sperm well with the seedlings. Stones of any style, like natural stones or regular stones. Sorry, I know I'm gross. In this particular case, I feel like even with what I'm wearing, it can go a little bit more Y2K-esque, which I think is a really cool. I'm going to put the noisy things on. Now, these are beautiful, and you've got okay. that. You've got the clear rhinestones, right, or big gems, actually. And then you've got that one iridescent. I feel like this is not super... That was a fashion fix set of earrings. These are just in a different color, and they were released as a fashion fix set like a month ago. But now, they're sitting in the back office. Gee, I wonder why. And these things are noisy, but I'm going to wear them. Strong. As far as the iridescent goes, it's just going to almost add a bounce of light or that prismatic hue right there in the center. This is super versatile. So if you have a lot of white with so the big white gem other accessories right a necklace a bracelet a ring this is a fun way to add just a little subtle pop of color and these pair beautifully with those type of things also if you've got a lot of iridescent and you want to be able to utilize that open air space so and why would we have a lot of iridescent because paparazzi is all balls to the walls mad on iridescent oil slick so rainbows butterflies unicorns uh, gnomes. I'm kidding. They haven't done gnomes yet, but they're starting to do dragonflies. It's not overdone. This is a great earring to pair with those things. 
Now, I love this layered necklace. You're going to see a combination of regular orange and coral. You're also going to see some different opacities, like a fully clear one, and then we've got that fog encapsulated bead. So when you get this, you really get a lot of colors inside there, meaning it's, you almost get the idea that there is even a really, really light pink, but it's actually more of a coral. I think this is... It's orange. It's orange. It's hues of orange. But yeah, let's go on for 30 more seconds and talk about the corals and the pinks and the orange. It's orange. It's a former Fashion Fix set. Uh, the Fashion Fix set came out in a multitude of different colors. It was rainbow when it came out in Fashion Fix. If you don't remember that, you need to go back and look at your history. But this is orange. And it's got a single point of failure right here. And it's got different si colors of beads that capture the light and encapsulate it. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Gross. Is beautiful for spring. It's super easy to add to a lot of outfits. You're going to get, again, that pop of color. But because we've got those ombre hues inside here, it really can start to pull in even if you're laying it with pinks or if you want to layer it with a darker orange. You're going to get a lot of versatility because of that scattering of color. So, so cool. And obviously, you can layer this with itself. Last but not least, does this not scream paparazzi? You've got the big fuchsia gem right there in the center. Fuchsia is just a hot pink, right? I love the square setting and then the rhinestones around the outside right here. It's so beautiful. And it's not overdone as far as size. It is actually a skinny back, so it's going it's to be, back. you know, easy to wear. It's oil slick. So, so pretty, cute. right? So fun. I know you can think of so many things to wear this with and... Obviously, in the case of paparazzi, this might be a perfect ring for one of our events. These oh, gross. items are currently available. Go add them to your cart and get ready for new releases. Yeah, go add more shit to your cart and get ready for new releases. Get back in there and bye, 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 bye. So, um... I want to see what some of the comments are on this Women's Day post, so let's see. Uh, my sister, Shirley Loomis, she isn't on Facebook. But you didn't say why, Susie. No doubt, Stephanie Stevens is definitely the go-to for all accessory needs. Speaking of which, I need to go get some of my trip for, my trip for next month. Happy International Women's Day. So this, I want to see how many comments there are. Uh, it doesn't look like there's that many comments. Who's inspiring you and why? Mm, Misty Kirby. If you say Misty Kirby inspires you, you might win the contest. <laughs> Just saying. Remember who you are. A rock star. Superstar. I'm sorry, but those are childish looking and so, so dumb. And then we've got butterflies and oil slick and oil slick and butterflies. Uh, uh, I mean, these earrings are long and, God, they are noisy. But I'm wearing them because someone sent them to me. But they are noisy. What do the founders have to say today for hashtag no excuses? Which one are you? Some people want it to happen. Some people wish it to happen or wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Um... You know what I want to have happen? I want to I want to win the lottery. I think everybody watching this channel would want to win the lottery. Some wish it would happen. Some people wish in a wishing well that they will win the lottery. And then others make it happen. How do they make it happen? They actually buy a fucking lottery ticket. <laughs> but the thing is, is even if you win a dollar, you've won the lottery. I mean, jackpot lottery is, you know, one in tens of millions of people. But yeah, that's that's what blows my mind is, which one are you? <laughs> okay. All right. So um, I want to thank you guys for being here. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers this month. If you're interested in certain types of content, leave me a comment down below of what you want to see more of, and I will put my focus on what you guys want to see. I've got lots of reaction videos. This month I'm going to mostly be reacting to those opportunity calls where they say it's such a great deal to join paparazzi for the opportunity of double hostess rewards when we know it's just crap nobody else wanted and or bought. 
And when we go to the shop page and we look at what's available, we still have a Black Diamond Encore piece. It's active now. It's because of the Brave with a bullet, and I think it's kind of an insult to servicemen and women. But that's just my humble opinion on that. Um, here's the gold necklace that Crystal said she only had one of. If she wanted, if someone wanted them, she could always get more. They're still available in her back office. Um, and then we've got Tranquil, tr Tranquil Trickle. Makes me think of going to the bathroom. Um, and then we still have the moon piece. We still have a truly paparazzi piece called the whole package. The whole kit and caboodle. And then we've got guys' jewelry. We've got the bewitching brilliance in copper. Um, did anything that didn't sell out yesterday that I thought would? No. Uh, the chicken feet are still available. Golden glimmer. I want to see what this looks like close up. Is that acrylic paint? It is. It's a gr acrylic paint in a in a teardrop with a dot motif. And this piece looks like it has wings on the side. And I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to wear that because it doesn't look right to me. It's not symmetrical, in my opinion. And then we've got the Sweet Dream Catcher. Is there actually feathers on this? No. And there's no weaving or anything, so how is that a dream catcher? And it's multi because it's pink and white? No, that's not a dream catcher. If you don't know what a dream catcher is, don't insult us by calling this that. They should call it Sweet Teardrop Multi. Because it's a teardrop within a teardrop within teardrops. Okay? And then there's the uber cute paparazzi ring. <laughs> Gotta get my hands on that. And then we've got flowers, more flowers. Someone's fire alarm's going off in my neighborhood right now. Can you hear that, Dave? And then we've got the orange iridescent starry cuff is still available. I'm actually shocked that didn't sell out. The rose gold hingy cuff is still not sold out. Neither is Fi Misty Kirby's favorite brass almost a little bit musings almost a little bit this that still hasn't sold out and then we've got wow I'm sure shocked that didn't sell out and then we've got all these other annoying pieces look that even goes with the cuff and it didn't sell out why because brass doesn't sell okay brass is boring nobody wants brass yeah so I'm going to leave this here. New releases are going to drop in 30 minutes, but I'm not really interested in seeing what they have going on today. We've already seen it. It's the stars and the butterfly. I'm pretty sure both will sell out. So don't look here. Also, if you have recently quit paparazzi and want to share your story with me, please send that to jonesjewelshop at gmail.com. It's in the About Me tab. If there's something you want to send my way, a card picture of your dog because I love seeing pictures of your dogs all the other good stuff my PO box is also in the description and I'm happy to hear from you and help promote you if that's what you wish and that's what you deem um, and I want to say congratulations to several women who have quit paparazzi you are making small strides you are actually selling your product out of your house you are getting rid of the inventory that you loaded up on like I told you you only eat an elephant one bite at a time you you built your inventory over years in most cases. You're now slowly getting rid of it. But trust me, it'll eventually all leave your house. Either through you donating it, selling it on eBay, selling it on your website, or going to vendor events and selling it there. You can do this. Getting out of the hole that you put yourself in, you can do it. It's just one small step at a time. And for those of you who are current consultants, you do not need to inventory load to make a go at this business. Do wall drops and then order off of those wall drops. And if the stuff sells out, you all you have to say is, oh, it looks like it sold out. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get this for you. And refer them to somebody on your team. And don't be afraid of them going to somebody else to shop. Because if they appreciate your honesty, they'll stick with you. If you have morals and ethics, they'll stick with you. They did with me in my case. 
All right, thanks for being here, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you next time.